Anyways, moving on to Google, um, it's, uh, and we talked about the DOJ thing, um, this hasn't actually been a, it, well, it's been announced, but I'm, I'm sure Google will talk more about it towards the end of the month when they do their, um, ice cream lunch thing. Did you hear that Google has created their own, you know, equivalent of, um, what is it? What, what, what is uh, Apple's? Apple's is C... What are they? Siri. What is it? C-sharp or whatever? Objective-C. Oh. Objective-C, oh, yes. C-sharp is my... Yeah, it's Objective-C. Microsoft has come up with their own Android language. They call it DORT. Of course. Yeah, and I'm like... Microsoft. Gotta make their own goddamn finger. Say what? Microsoft. Oh yeah, I, I'm sorry. Did I confuse Microsoft and Google? How dare I? Google has <laughs> for Android. Android has its own language now called Dart. You said Microsoft was like what? Yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're talking about Google. Google. Google has something called Dart, uh, and they have things for people to go, you know, look in and learn on it and yada yada. But I'm just like, really? It's like. Dart? I, I I can't say I'm surprised because they were promising, you know, like a unified framework and stuff as part of ice cream. I guess that's how they did it. Yeah, that's I, the thing. They're going to need to. I mean, they're, they're going to make one specification, which is fine. You know, that's what happens. As long as it doesn't start doing weird things like excluding cross-compiling or son or... <laughs> 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 well, I don't think they're going to do it that way. I think well, it's allowed open source applications. That's mobile Firefox. <laughs> yeah. Kind of DOSBox. That's true. Well, I don't... I, I, I may have you later once more. Well. You're not going to have a policy to correctly do it. That's not going to do it, man. What are you talking about? Not sure. Yeah, I, 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 I guess it makes sense. This is one of those things that's like... Uh, okay. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, well, Google is in a beta phase right now. You know, I, uh, that'll make Apple people cringe, but I'm sorry. I mean, they're <laughs> software-wise, they are just flipping it out. I mean, I was so impressed at that I/O conference and, what, and the things they wanted to take software. You know, they're just—it's like they're like kids in a toy shop at this point. No, oh, I, I, I'm still waiting for them to re-release the source now that they're releasing ice cream because their reason for holding it back was. You know about controlling the form factor thing, which ice cream is supposed to fix. So it's like they need to hold to that. But yeah, so they have their own language now. It's supposedly their flagship phone, the Nexus Prime, <laughs> uh, which uh, actually came out. What? Hey, so do you think Siri's going to violate any Android patents? Because Android is the master of. Uh audio agent software. Eh. That's how much I, I Siri don't. relies on the internet back end like the Android stuff does. Yeah. No, here's the thing. I think if it did, Siri would have already been attacked. I, I, do, I, I do think that. Because it, it, it's... The Android is perfected as far as I can tell. You know, uh, Software agents, period. You know, agents, they basically what Siri is. And then uh, as yeah. much as it pains me to admit this, there is a difference between the voice technology in Android and the voice technology in Siri that Apple purchased. There, there is a difference between the two. Siri is more like a human layer. Hello there, computer. No, well, it, it, not quite. But Siri is the result uh, of a, you know, there was this government think tank project where they, you know, they the government was trying to create how, <laughs> uh, you know, that that, was, that was the point. They wanted <laughs> the response. The response point to me is unnecessary. You know, whatever, just do it. You know, I don't need to be told uh, whatever. Well, no, and th th there's a spoof video going around the web right now that's making fun of that, like where people ask how long to cook cupcakes, and it's like, are you sure you really need the five extra pounds? I have all these concepts that have fun in Siri. Uh, you know, like, uh, like a husband and wife are in a call, and, and, and Siri comes on and goes, okay, I have appropriated all your pornography. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the Apple logo that takes a bite out of it and says spicy. Yeah, I, 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 I
So because that is a very complex thing, my idea or my idea, I'm just saying that, that it should be driven to the point to where it is hashed out in the courts, small claims, whatever, uh, without all of the bureaucracy and rigmarole. So that, uh, yeah, and, and, and unfortunately, I that would require completely redoing the small claims thing because of the dollar amounts and some of these things are multi-billion dollar things. Well, it, of course, it gets up to the it gets up to a, a, a certain point. But what, my, what it is is, if you are a big player and it is millions versus millions, then really we're not we shouldn't even be complaining. They both have a sufficient amount of money to to, to claim and defend whatever they they say in the patent. But, and that's where it needs to be, the wars need to be waged. That's why we have court systems for, for crying out loud. Or what are we discussing about anything? I mean, if somebody violates my property, which is my house, or, or someone in my house. Well, let's say but, but the it, difference you know, there is in that scenario, the two parties that are actually involved are the two parties going at each other. In the patent thing, when you do this shuffle and, you know, pass it around and stuff, what you have is something like Microsoft going after Google by way of a third-party Canadian company that has no direct tie to Microsoft at all and is not in any way, shape, or form. In that, case, and in that case, then the property ownership has to be clearly determined. And I would hope that in the court of law that is determined, right? Because the court of law is going to go through well, and here are the three revisions I'd like to see to, to, to the whole court process for that. I, I'm actually okay with the patent process. And you're right, the court should be the challenge. But uh, because of the way the court system is abused, I would like these three revisions. If I'm, say, uh, company XYZ, and I think product XYZ infringes on a patent I own, I should have to go after company XYZ. I cannot go after all the people company XYZ supplies before I go after company XYZ. I have to go after them first, prove that there's an actual violation before I start green mail nuisance suing all of the people they supply because they have nothing whatsoever to do with any infringement. They're taking something from okay, somebody. So what you're asking for basically though, because that's all you want is you don't want any type of injunctions to uh, come into force until the determination is made. Uh, in other words, a ruling has been made. In other words, Apple cannot make an injunction on Samsung, for example, which is for, 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 for using Apple Android. Android. They'd first have to go after Google for if they if it's a software violation. So you just want the whole pa uh, patent racketeering. Well, well, okay, but if they really think Android infringes on iOS, that they should go after Android, not people using Android to get rid of competition. That's well, th that's well, what revision. Happened, what would happen though is is that they Apple specifically targeting targeting Android would not win in a court of law, but they can in a court of law with Android combined with the handset. It's, it's the combination of the two that they're after, not just the one by itself. I mean, you have to look at it. You have to look at it that way. That's what the law is going to say. The law is going to literally tell them, "Well, where's the device that's, that is causing the infringement?" There is no device. It's just an operating system. They can't do it mono e mono iOS by itself versus Android. That's well, but a lot of their suit, a lot of their claims are purely software based. They're not total package claims. How the software interacts with the phone. I mean, because the, the, the judge is going to say, all right, demonstrate the violation. If there is no phone and it's just on the computer screen, the, the, the law is not going gonna, gonna to comply and say, dude, that's, that's a violation. But if it is on the device, this is what the courts do, though. And this is why they fight it out. In the well, okay, but that has to do with revision two I'd like to see which is streamlining the process so that it, it's, it can't be used as a green mill blockade for uh, basically saying, well, you know, you may be right, but we'll make it more expensive for you to be right. Admit you're wrong even though you're not. You know, that, 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 the court should not be a hammer to hit someone over the head with. It should be the crucible of truth. Yeah, you and, could, you could make, I mean, but see, a judge can automatically rule that, you know, but see, judges also want to have full dockets and then get rid of the dockets, you know, and people come in. So I, I, that's a in itself. But any judge... I'm sure it's going to try to have some sort of means where they can, they can mitigate it. And, uh, but certainly, but is there a legal right to say I want an injunction? 
I would, I mean, if I were the, if I were the judge, I'd, I'd say, you know, your, your injunction denied until I make a ruling. Uh, yeah, and, and, and I agree with that because it, it, this shouldn't be hitting them over the head to prevent competition until something's actually proven. Now, it's in the civil court, like you say, which means you don't have a presumption of innocence. But in the case of patent, I think one should be, one should be added. Um, the third revision I would like to see is no suing just because. Uh, I, 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 I have to, no, no, I, no, no, I have to explain that one. That, there's actually a precedent for that, the escalator. Uh, the same thing with, um, uh, Park, uh, you know, Paul Alta uh, Research Center. They were suing on something they never intended to go to market with, and then after the fact they decided, you know, yada yada. Uh, basically, I, I don't think troll companies whose sole business is acquiring patents or taking patents from other companies as a shield company to be a nuisance suit should get should get a voice. I think it should say, "You're not in this industry. There, there isn't side. You're, you're you are just doing this." to be a thorn in their side. Stop ambulance chasing. Get a real job. <laughs> it's, you know, it, it's one thing when it's a company legitimately trying to create a product and do something that's being infringed upon. It's another thing when it's, I didn't do anything, I didn't create this, I didn't have anything to do with it. I acquired it in a bankruptcy, or I was given it by company X to make your life a living hell. I think the court should personally say, well, give it back to company X and tell them they have to do their own dirty work. <laughs> well, look, I can only say it's going to get worse, guys. Oh, it's going to get far worse. Now. Yeah, but, well, because there's less examiners at the patent office. I know. And uh, now with less examiners, the more will get through, and then you'll just fill up the, the court system even more. I know what you're after is, for instance, in-app purchasing, which is that, that one, what is it, Rodsys or some company? That yeah. You can't, see, if I were an examiner at the patent office, I'd just flat out and say, uh, that's not an invention. Being able yeah. to have an in-app purchase, huh? I mean, hello. Uh, so. Yeah, show show me code that's actually executing uh, something or it, something. No, yeah, to me that's just taking known code and just... Uh, uh, to me, that can't be patented. An in-app purchase is just impossible to patent. Dragging a damn thing on a screen, uh, so I'm not the phone. Well, now you're patent. talking about some of the Apple patents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous on some of the things that are just flat out the same. I'm sorry, that's not a patentable feature. I, I don't disagree. And that's the thing. When it comes to those patents, it, it uh, the court should... Basically, the court's immediate reaction to those should be, I don't know how you got this patent, but it's not an invention. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like me building a website using, let's say, frames and iframes in a certain pattern, and then because I put a specific amount of content in one of them that controls the others, I essentially want to patent them. That's bullshit. I can't patent that. You know what? I should try and patent something like that. I could be a billionaire. <laughs> I must write that a dozen times a day. Every website in the world uses stuff like that. They use divs and frames and stuff. Yeah, I need to patent that stuff, and I bet I can get it through now. <laughs> okay, is there anything else in the bouncing Google in the bouncing web of news we want to go to? It's like we're sa we're saving the Apple stuff for iWorld. Um. I think we actually went through everything. <laughs> yeah. Dang. It's first, that's the first time we've actually gotten through a whole list this long. Okay. It's, um, I guess bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right.